This week we read a portion of Ayera, and the Medrash tells us, my say of a similar body. The entire book of Horatius, Genesis, where we read about all the story that took place with our forefathers, Torah is not a storybook, nor a history book. Why does Torah tell it to us? They are lessons and have to serve, serve as a guidance in our life. So when we read the portion and we look at the life of Abraham, Abraham Avino, and we see that in the beginning of the portion, where it tells us how he invited guests into his home, we find something very interesting. The Torah tells us several times by Yodas, and he ran. He ran to provide for his guests. When he tells his wife Sarah that we have guests, we have to prepare a meal, he says, Mary, let's hurry up. We have to do things quickly. And the question is, what's the rush? Where are we going? No one's running away. But we have an opportunity to do a mitzvah. Abraham Avinu says we have to do it quickly. A mitzvah has to be done with excitement, with enthusiasm. And we'll have to say, yes, let's get it done. Likewise, at the end of the portion, when we read about where Abraham takes his son, one and only son, for the Akeli to bring him for a sacrifice. Once again, Torah tells us why Yashkim Abraham Baboka gets up early in the morning. Again, our rabbis point out, it wasn't so much what Abraham did, it was how he did it. He did it, he didn't push it off, he didn't procrastinate, but he got up early in the morning with excitement and enthusiasm to do the mitzvah of God. This has to serve as a lesson to all of us. That when it comes to doing a good deed, to help another Jew, to help another person, do a mitzvah, don't procrastinate. Don't do it slow motion. Do it with excitement, do it quickly, and get the job done. May God bless us all to have success in everything we do. And may God show a similar act of rush and alacrity when it comes to bring us our final redemption, the coming of Mashiach. Shabbat Shalom.